Hey guys, trying something new today. Please let me know what you think about it in the comments. So in a Facebook group, I was asked the question, how do you create quote graphics? So what I wanna do is walk through the process that I use when I create graphics for my Instagram account. Now, if you like this question and answer format, please drop me a question in the comments and I will use that to create a video in the future. If you've not gone to LaShondaBrown.com and gotten access to my VIP vault, you'll wanna do that because I actually have 30 free Instagram quote graphics already ready for you to use within the vault. All you have to do is type in your name and email. Without further ado, let's hop in. You have a couple options when creating quote graphics for Instagram. You can either create them for your Instagram story or you can create them for your Instagram feed. Regardless, you'll be creating custom dimension images in Canva if that's what you choose to use. I use it for my web graphics because it's quick and easy. I don't feel like hopping into an Adobe program like Photoshop, Illustrator, or InDesign. If that's what you love, go for it. But if you want to do it quickly, just use a free account on the website Canva. So at the top, you want to hit on custom dimensions, and we're actually going to create both side by side. So 1080 by 1920 is your dimension for your Instagram story. And if you go back and do 1080 by 1350, you'll create an Instagram graphic for your Instagram feed. Now I like to keep them named the sizes at the top while I'm working on the graphic and when I'm done, then I will rename it. That way I don't get them confused. Now you can create a graphic with just some black text on a white background, but if you want to mix things up, I would highly recommend using the website Unsplash. You can search at the top for the types of graphics you're looking for, I'm going to use a colored wall for the one I'm showing you how to do today. And let's see, this image looks really cool. So we're going to go ahead and click and download that and use that on our graphics. Now you'll want to upload your own images. And I like to save it on the desktop because it's easy to use, easy to find what I download, but do whatever works for you. and then you'll just wanna place your image. Now this one is my Instagram story. So I'm actually going to crop this so that it is all the woman's face. But for my Instagram feed, I'm gonna add a bit more of the wall. Now, based on the image, you can decide how big you wanna make the text. So I like to do my image graphics first. Now, one thing to remember on your Instagram feed is they are going to crop this in your feed. So if you need a reference for the sake of your text, I recommend just adding a little square as kind of a point of reference and then sticking that in the middle. And that kind of gives you some areas to use as to where you want your text to appear. Now you can go to Instagram and you can search hashtag quotes for quotes. You can go to Twitter, do the same thing, hashtag quotes, and choose a tweet that's popular. So you can look at the amount of retweets and likes on an image before you select a quote. Or my favorite is you can go to Pinterest and just type in quotes and choose a quote from there. So once you have your quote in mind, go back to Canva and you're going to add your text boxes. Now, if you do a paid Canva account, you'll be able to upload your own fonts. So if you're really into a strong brand identity and you want everything to match, I would recommend going ahead and paying for Canva. Now you can add your text. If you wanna just copy that, you can do that. And I like to mix typefaces in my quote graphics. So I'm gonna use these two. And then change it. Now again, based on 
Now this is my Instagram story graphic. So I can play around a bit with the placement, but you want to remember not to put text down here because it will be covered up by buttons. So you could do something here over her eyes, or you could do it down here together. I think I want to place it underneath the chin and I'm actually going to move her head up a bit to give me some more space. And now that I see it, we're just going to do the one text box. And we'll go back here, do the exact same thing. And I'm going to use my fonts. Okay. Actually, here we go. And that looks good for the sizing. And so you can mix things up if you'd like. I think that'll be good. So now I know about the area, I can get rid of that text box and see where it falls. So I'm gonna move her head up just a tad again. Put that down there. And that'll go there. Now one thing that I do find is sometimes the text is difficult to read on the images. So what I do, is I just say add a little rectangle, throw that on top, make it black, place it behind the text, and then we will make it transparent. Now you can decide, you know, how transparent you want it to be, but just enough to make the image a bit more legible. That looks good there, and we'll go back to the Instagram story graphic and do the same thing. All righty. Now, what I like to do is keep the first one as a little template and just copy it. And now we'll add our quote. Now again, you can take your quote from Instagram, Twitter, or Pinterest. And you can move it once you've got everything in place. All righty. So now you have everything in place and you can go ahead and rename this. So you could just say um, Instagram graphic template and you could call this one Instagram story template. Then to make sure that you keep this one in place, you'll just say download and select page number two, download, select page number two. You'll save those to your desktop and you can email them to yourself, drop them in Google Drive or Dropbox if you have those apps on your phone, and then upload directly to Instagram with your favorite hashtags. So I hope this was useful to you. I really love using Canva and I highly recommend you using it in your business. If you have not joined my VIP vault, you can go ahead and head to LaShondaBrown.com where you can get 30 quote graphics absolutely free as soon as you sign up. Thanks again for watching and remember this is the Bootstrap Biz Advice Show where I teach you how to grow your biz without breaking the bank. Until next time, ta-ta for now.